Exactly, exactly. So let's have a look ahead at the T-Mobile Coast to Coast forecast and give you a peek at temperatures in your area as you plan your travel for the week ahead. Jim was just mentioning what's happening in the upper Midwest. Of course, we're going to keep our eyes here on the coast, the Gulf Coast, for the potential tropical development that we could be watching as we head into our Tuesday and really into our Wednesday and Thursday. Otherwise, it just stays straight hot in the Northeast the entire week. This is what it says on the thermometer but you factor in the humidity and the heat indices will be the upper 90s, low triple digits. It'll be a relief to get some rain here on Friday. And by Friday, we're going to be sick of the rain into Texas. It will be nonstop for Jen. us. Well, America's Morning Headquarters has you covered through mid-morning. And Jen Carfagno is here with a look at what's coming up. And I'll tell you, the temperature is coming it's up everywhere. Up. The temperature is going up. The, the amounts of rain can, with flood concerns, that's going up as well. And, you yeah. know, with growing concerns of flooding along the Texas coast this week. One group of researchers are working to map out the damage before it happens. We are talking to Texas A&M University about how they're using 3D technology to visualize, predict, and prevent hurricane damage. Hmm. Really flooding damage of any sorts. Yeah, and it, all, it doesn't take a lot either. I mean, even just a few inches of flooding right. can cause thousands of dollars of damage. And it, it is really hard to visualize that. How, you know, when you see, when you hear about water coming, how will it affect your home? Yeah, 3D helps. Excellent been talking about for the entire show. It is sizzling and it's mm -hmm. not even officially summer yet. More than 140 million of you sweating it out in temperatures above 90 near 100 yes. this week. So in order to help you and your kids stay safe in the stifling heat, one university has launched an interactive game. All right, so joining us live to talk about Beat the Heat is Charles Kozelik. He is the executive director of K-12 mm -hmm. Outreach in the School of Life Sciences at Arizona University. Charles, thanks for talking to us this morning. Um, Explain how this game works. Well, thank you for having me. Well, it, it, it's... No, it doesn't. Catch an all-new episode of Weird Earth Sunday at 8, 7 Central right here on the Weather Channel. I love when it looks like the Earth is breathing like that, Jim. A lot of times there's water underneath it, too. I know that whole thing was getting lifted up. But sometimes yeah, when there's water under it... That was kind of nuts. That, that just shows you how loose yeah. those roots can be in a, yep. in a soaked situation.